successes uh, with Honda and Smith Nissan. Let's take a moment and mention some of your buddies in the paddock area who also had great success on Hondas. And I'm referring to you particularly the winner of the Pirelli sponsored Pro Sport Bike National Championship, your good buddy, Joni Christie. And also, of course, in from Mormon, Saskatchewan, Boney Beatty, who captured the novice, or er, made that the Pro Rookie of the Year award. They're good buddies of yours, and they ride Hondas. Yeah, they're, uh, we're, we're really good friends. Bodhi has been, Bodhi and Jody actually, they both helped me out a lot this year. Jody was the CBR instructor, so he went on, on track with me and he was helping me on track and giving me advice, whereas Bodhi was standing off track and helped me out a lot. And uh, Bodhi, Bodhi's family, Devin and Alex, they, they were helping, out on, helping us out a lot um, off track. So I thank them a lot for being there. Uh, there's a Honda a, a, attachment uh, that Bodhi Eadie, for instance, winning the, the uh, Pro Rookie of the Year award and the fact that he, even though he's in the 600 Pro class, you guys still interact uh, in, in the paddock area and he's coaching you along and helping you out because you're a Honda person. Well, it's not just the Hondas, it's all the riders want to help each other out. So if you go to a rider and you ask for help, they'll most definitely say, yeah, you can come back or I'll help you out now. But um, I guess the Honda guys want to stick together and help us help each other out and get higher and higher. Well, we have some late breaking news about the Canadian motorcycle racing this weekend. Of course, we just heard the news that Brett McCormick is going to Europe. That's fabulous news after winning the number one plate here. Also, the news that we have a new title sponsor of the Canadian Superbike Series. It is now the Mopar Canadian Superbike Series. That's that's great news. And of course, from Honda Canada comes the news that there is no 125 class this year. That might be a disappointment to some, but the good news item is we have a brand new class, the CBR 250R class, and you're starting to get a smile on your face already. You're going to have a chance to wear a number one plate in that class this year. Uh, yes, Honda gave the, uh, they got the okay from the series, so I'm going to be able to wear the number one plate. I'm really excited and honored to be able to do that. There's a lot of riders, and I think Valentino Rossi even uh, would be a prime example of it, who refuses to wear the number one plate. Some riders feel like it's a jinx. You put that number one plate on the front of your motorcycle, that's like putting a bullseye on your backside. I'm keeping my original original number 316, but the plan is just to make the one bigger. So. Have you set any goals for yourself for the 2012 season? I know we're a wee bit early, but would you like to repeat as champion? Um, I'm going to go out there with the same goals, just get better skills, get more seat time, and just see where it goes each race. Each race, uh, let's go back to the first race of 2011 as an example. Here we are in ICAR, Montreal, just north of Montreal. Very slippery racetrack under adverse conditions. On the uh, Saturday race, you finish in fifth place, a very uh, honorable position for a young lady in motorcycle racing. On Sunday, you won under absolutely torrential conditions. Raining, slippery racetrack. You still, you put it all together. You had some moments, we know that. But you put it all together, you won the race. In doing so, you became the second woman in Canadian history to win a national championship race and you captured the points lead and in doing that you became the first woman in Canadian motorsport history to lead a national championship. We fast forward now to Motorsport International Raceway at the end of the season, the doubleheader, fast qualifier, wins both races, walks away with the championship and you're still smiling about it. Let's talk about that. Um, it was yeah, I'm still smiling about it. It's really cool to think about it. Does it give you goosebumps? Because it does me. Yeah, it was It was a lot of fun. Mossport was a really fun weekend. The first race, was a, I felt pressure because um, anything could have happened with only six point lead. Uh, so winning it was essential for me. Uh, I got it with, it was a good battle between all of the racers. And then uh, the second race was just for fun. Well, next year, of course, uh, I've just had confirmation just before we come up on uh, stage, uh, Stacy. I don't know that you probably know this, is that Honda is totally behind this new uh, 250 class. The hauler is going to be there. Eric's going to be there again. He's a key player, yeah. <laughs> Having Eric there as Scott McKay is, uh, it gives you a little bit more reassurance when you strap on that full coverage helmet, huh? Yeah, I absolutely love having Eric and Scott and Kim there. Thank you so much to all of them for being there. We, um, the Honda trailer is really helpful, and Eric asking for help is always there. And Scott's always there telling us what's going on to have an official there that you can always go to. And Kim just telling us what's going on with Honda, so thank you very much to them.